It's Glamstract here, another video, another foundation review. And today's foundation is the Boy de Chanel Le Tente Foundation. The shade that I've picked for myself is M20 Light. I've been using this foundation for quite some time now, probably two years, maybe a little less, a year and a half, obviously on and off because I have other foundation that I also love to use as well. I've used this foundation with different methods of application and with different types of primers as well. I prefer using this foundation with luminous primers, but it works well with any sort of primer, if I have to be honest. Luminous for me, only because I do like more like a glowy, dewy look. In terms of application, I also prefer all types of application. I don't mind if it's a sponge, brush or my fingers. Today I'm going to apply with a brush, but as I said, prefer any. I did a bit of a research and this range of Boy de Chanel launched in 2018 and it came out with different products. It came out with the foundation, a concealer stick, a nail varnish or two nail varnish, can't remember now, a lip balm and also a brow pencil. Now, I only have three products out of this line. I have the foundation, the lip balm, and one of the nail varnishes. Also because these days it's extremely hard to find stock of either the concealer and the rest of the products from this range. It's such a popular range. The name of the foundation gives it away, Boy de Chanel. I presume the range was designed around men wearing makeup, but also if you know a little bit of history behind Chanel, boy was her lover. So I think there's a bit of a connection there. However, I am on the Chanel website. I'm going to read you the description. Create a smooth, even complexion with Boy de Chanel foundation, an impeccable lightweight formula, comfortable and easy to use. The fresh fluid formula glides on effortlessly, leaving skin unified and hydrated. Invisible coverage delivers visible results that last from morning until night. Composition. Soft focus micro particles unifies and correct imperfection for a natural looking result. The long wear formula includes hyaluronic acid for lasting comfort and hydration. It is a quite natural foundation. It is a quite everyday foundation. I think that's why it's so popular that all the popular shades are constantly out of stock unless they're deciding to discontinue this range and that's why you can't find these shades forever on the website. But we don't know about that. The concealer, all the shades have been out of stock for months and months. Since I don't have the Body Chanel concealer stick, I am going to use Le Corrector de Chanel, the shade B10. This is the shade and this is the consistency. It is quite solid and but at the same time quite liquidy as well. It's very slowly running down my hand. Smell-wise, it has that sort of clean camellia, well the camellia but also part of the Hydro Beauty range is sort of have that fresh, clean scent. One pump goes a long way. And to blend, as I said, I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to use the Dior number no. 12 foundation brush. I have to agree with all the claims that the Chanel website say about this foundation. It is a natural foundation. It is an everyday foundation. It is that undetectable coverage. Very, very natural. I can certainly see why they, have, they are marketing this foundation for men because it has very little coverage. But if you want a very natural looking skin, this is it. This is stop looking any further because this is beautiful. The finish of this foundation is not really matte. It's not really luminous. It's something in between and it's something just very natural. I forgot to mention that for primer, I have used the limited edition Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Primer, moisturizing and protective in the shade Icy Beige. Yes, yeah, so as I'm sure you'll be able to see on camera, unless this lighting is just washing me out, it is a very natural foundation. You can still see your imperfections coming through, you know, any red dots or any like little moles that you have on your face, they do still pick through the foundation because that it's it's meant to be like that. It's meant to be a very natural, undetectable foundation, just like the Chanel website described. But I have no complaints because it's not emphasizing any pores. It's not really sitting into fine lines. Obviously, as I always say, I feel like you can repeat it after me if you watch me. Fine lines show up no matter what you use. The color B20 is perfect on my complexion. So if you want to use me as straight reference, if you think you have a similar skin tone as mine, B20. Just very 
very natural, very lightweight. As I said, I was going to use the B10 Le Correcteur de Chanel concealer. I like that concealer. Le Correcteur de Chanel used to be a favorite of mine for a very long time. But then as I grow older, it's sort of, I feel like it goes a little bit drying on me. It could be that my skin is just not as it used to be anymore, but um, still use it, still beautiful, but it's a little bit touch drying for my under eyes sometimes. It depends, I guess, how my skin is feeling on the day, because some days it looks good, some other days you can tell it's a little bit drying. For powder, I am going to use the new reformulated Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Powder, and I picked it in the shade, the same shade as my foundation, 20. I personally prefer this pressed powder from Chanel over the loose powder, because as I said in one of my previous videos, the loose powder tends to dry my skin way too much and I do not enjoy that. Well, this is just like a very soft veil. It is very undetectable. It's that soft that even after powder application and you touch your skin, it still feels a little bit tacky, which is great. Here you go, so that's powder applied. Lovely, velvety, soft, sheer powder. I did mention at the beginning that I also have from the Boy de Chanel range, the Lip Balm. It's a lovely, almost mattifying, I know it's, there's, it doesn't it doesn't sound right, like a balm that is mattifying, but yes, it's like a soft matte balm. I'm just gonna stop right here because I do want the Boy de Chanel to be the main focus of this foundation. I do not intend to repeat myself, but conclusion is that this is a beautiful everyday foundation. It's nothing special, let's be honest here. It's nothing wow, nothing amazing but is a beautiful foundation. I cannot deny that. It's a beautiful foundation, very natural, very undetectable, but obviously it's giving you just something to, you know, even the skin out. We are towards the end of this video. Now you tell me, have you tried this foundation or have you tried anything from the Boy de Chanel range? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But also, if you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up as well, because why not? Let's spread the love. And while you're here on my YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe. You help me a lot and support my channel to grow. If you want, you can head over to my Instagram page and you can follow me there at Glamstract as well. Thank you so much for watching once again, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.